Biden is known to hate Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. He looks at Erdogan as someone who buys Russian weapons despite being a US ally and has since long held a desire to unseat him. Now it looks like he has already kickstarted the process of doing so. Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of TFI Media Group. I'm your host Tejasvi Malhotra and in this video I will tell you how Biden may already have started a campaign to unseat Turkish President Erdogan. In 2020, a video went viral on Turkish social media. It was a clip of Joe Biden saying what I think we should be doing is taking a very different approach to Erdogan now. making it clear that we support opposition leadership biden also said erdogan has to pay a price in fact biden had then suggested that the us should embolden turkish opposition leaders to be able to take on and defeat erdogan not by a coup not by a coup but by the electoral process well at least erdogan seems to feel that biden could be running a secret campaign to unseat him hey it's me atul i started this channel We started small, we went big. Suddenly, the whitey bullets was after us. We dodged and ducked, but the algos got us really bad. So we designed our own app. It's free. We never asked for money. We never will. But the droid called us too sensitive and blocked us. We still have an Apple app. Join us and fast, because if you don't, we will cease to exist. Check out the link in the description. Turkey's Hurriyet newspaper has claimed that the US military has been infiltrated by the Gulenist movement. The newspaper report claims that the US based the brother of a convicted member of the organization led by religious cleric Fethullah Gulen has spearheaded efforts to infiltrate the Pentagon. Hurriyet cited an intelligence memo to state that a senior member at the US Ministry of Defense, Nizamettin Gul, uses his position as the head of the Analytical Toxicology Department at the US Army Medical Research Institute of Chemical Defense to pass on sensitive military information for Gulen and help other members of the movement join the US military. The organization led by Gulen is branded as FETO. It has educational institutions and members all around the world. However, Turkey designated it as a terror organization after the failed military coup to unseat Erdogan in 2016. The Erdogan administration had then accused Gulen and his followers of having infiltrated the Turkish military and institutions as a part of the coup conspiracy. Nizamettin Gul is considered influential within the FETO. His brother Islatan Gul was arrested by Turkish authorities after the 2016 coup. The Gul brothers are repeatedly directly linked to Gulen and FETO's leadership. In fact, Gulen himself lives in Pennsylvania in the United States. Turkey has been demanding his extradition but the Biden administration hasn't even answered its requests. Make no mistake Biden has harbored animosity against Erdogan even before coming to power. He had voiced concern about Erdogan's high-handed approach against Kurds in Turkey, military cooperation with Russia and access to American airfields in the country. However, the US-Turkey relationship nose dived recently due to embittered remarks about the Ukraine crisis. The Biden administration had informally requested Ankara to transfer its S-400 missile defense systems to Ukraine so that Kyiv can resist the Russian onslaught. Erdogan, however, shot down the Biden administration's request. Turkish Presidential Communications Director Fahrettin Altun said such a deal was quite unrealistic today. This idea presents an opportunity to discuss the problems Turkey has experienced lately with the West. Altun instead demanded that it should be allowed to rejoin the F-35 Joint Fighter Aircraft Program. It also demanded that the Patriot missile defense systems be delivered to it without conditions. Erdogan effectively mocked Biden for demanding deployment of the S-400 air defense system in Ukraine. For Biden, it was a deal breaker. The US president has put his entire diplomatic capital at stake over the Ukraine crisis. So he definitely wouldn't tolerate Turkey's condescending behavior. 
and if the Hurriyat report is to be taken into consideration, the US may have already started the process to unseat the Turkish president. By helping Erdogan's rivals secure influential positions in the top US military leadership, the Biden administration is clearly working to undermine Erdogan's leadership over Turkey.